small streamer syndrome. Now, this, this isn't a uh, made name to my knowledge, but small streamer syndrome is something that I'm pretty sure a lot of small streamers or content creators, including myself, go through. And I have it written down like right here. So, oh, I have three, like, I guess, symptoms of this. That's loneliness, a lack of importance, and frustration. Now, throughout this video, I'm pretty sure I will maybe come up with more reasons, more um, symptoms of this travesty. So, first off, let's go with loneliness. Now, being a small streamer, um, of course, you have less, I would say, connections um, in the public eye. Now, some people might have um, a fellow small streamer who they feel like is a great person to talk to, to connect with, to make content with, blah, blah, blah. So when I say you have no connections, I don't mean you don't know any other streamers. Like, yes, we might know a lot of other small streamers, but let's be honest. Those other small streamers aren't going to help you as much as a big streamer would if you were to collab with a smaller streamer. Well, there's always this sense of loneliness because we go either on Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, whatever, to a larger content creator's page and we look at their content, the amount of views they get, the amount of viewers they get, the, the amount of chat, uh, the, the amount of chat logs they get, the likes, the comments, the shares, whatever it may be. You have us sitting here like, man, I wish I was like that. I would say the the sad part of this is that there are lots of people who want to be streamers. So, and there's, it's not by definition, but most likely there's only a small amount of people who can actually make it. Somebody can have a hundred viewers on average and live comfortably because those a hundred viewers love that streamer so much and they will provide their lifestyle for them. But that's not what I mean. I would say majority of small streamers, if you were to ask them, hey, but what is your goal with this? Most of them would say, I want to live comfortably, like have my own place, like pay for my essentials, blah, 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 and have this my full-time job. That sounds good, but deep down, a lot of these small streamers, including myself, want to be a Ludwig, an SQC, a Summer 1G, like these notable people. Like, yes, of course, anyone would not mind being a full-time streamer and living comfortably, having their bills paid from it, being able to go on vacations, whatever. But I'm talking about the people that actually know Twitch and want Twitch to be their full-time job. And the reason why I think people don't say that is because they don't, they don't want to be seen as like, I guess, greedy or like disingenuous maybe. But for me, I don't care. That's my goal. My goal is to be a notable streamer. Now, I, I'm not saying I want to be like in Bud Light ads, like commercials or, or being in a Super Bowl commercial. That would be fine if it happened, but I just, I just want to be a big notable name in the Twitch world. So that's why I feel like loneliness isn't only a small streamer problem. Cause obviously any streamer at any size can feel loneliness, but I feel like that loneliness can come from different reasons. For small streamers is the fact that you feel left out in a way because all these big streamers they're collabing all the time they go to these special events they get exclusive ads for them and then all the small streamers are just left be well left behind in a sense like obviously i'm not saying we should give ads to everyone but like only a small majority of streamers get like the big ads the big payouts and exposure like a super bowl commercial yeah tim of course and I'm not complaining. Like I know why they get those ads, and I know why they get these opportunities. Cause they have they're, they're big. They're big, man. That's just how it is. And even so, I'll go even deeper on that. It's not even a that it's because of big people. Like let's say the 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 medium sized full time streamers, like the one thousand to two thousand viewers, maybe maybe even five thousand. I'll say that even those streamers, like no matter what type of streamer class you're in, the 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 large size streamers, the medium size, small, they will always be majority of the time a, like a, 
a club in a way. Like, I, yes, we've seen big streamers collab with small streamers and wherever it might go. But majority of the, of the time, it's always the people in those three sections that will stick with each other. I'm not looking to. I'm not looking for like a solution to this because the way it's going about is just how it is. It's a competition at the end of the day, and I'm not saying that my content is great. Why am I not getting big or blah blah, blah like that? You know, like obviously my content is not great. It's not great. I'm not, I'm not saying I'm, I'm 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 putting out garbage, but it's obviously not good enough. Like the views aren't there, the likes aren't there, the comp whatever. It's just not there. People aren't wanting to go see, look at my thumbnail and it pops up and say, oh, I'll watch that. Oh, this is a good video. That's happened before, but it's not a consistent thing because being being real with, with myself and you, I'm just not better than a lot of these content creators. Simple as that. Now, I forgot the other one. <laughs> we are now moving on to, oh, lack of importance. Got it. Okay. This one is a very, I guess, it's a very indirect and direct term or phrase. So I'll talk about real life. So obviously most people who are around my age group know for a fact that people who are older look at YouTube and Twitch and anything like that space as like a hobby. That's it. It is a hobby, but they, but they don't understand, but they don't see it as like a job. So like if if anyone were to tell their parents, "Hey, I'm a Twitch streamer," as a, as a job, their parents would be either confused, disappointed, angry, laugh, whatever. Like that's just how it is. So like and people who say, "Hey, mom and dad, I want to be in the NFL." Oh, good good job! Like they they immediately like you feel you feel validated, you feel important for what you are doing. It's being acknowledged. Now, in my personal life, uh, majority of the people I told that I want to be a Twitch streamer, it's been positive for the most part. Uh, it's not positive in the fact how I think positive, but regarding to the people who said what they said, it is positive from the, from their perspective. Like, like they say things like, I believe in you, just make sure you know what you're doing or have a plan, blah, blah, blah. Every day, there's one person in my life where I feel unimportant. Well, I feel like I'm just letting that person down every day because I'm not SQC. Like, I'm not big. Like, every day that I am not where I want to be, I feel like I'm just, like, just the chances of it happening is just slowly in, uh, decreasing and decreasing and decreasing and decreasing. Now, that's a bad way to think of things, but I can't fight that because if it was just me that knew what I was going to do in the future, it might be easier, but... That's not how it is for me. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people are dealing with the exact same thing. Like people around you, probably the majority, some people might might know, but people around you just think what, what you're doing is a waste of time. They think it's a hobby. Oh, you're just playing video games. You're just making videos. How does that work? But it's, and then this is random, but it's always when you make the money is when they take it serious. And I, like you, you have to be a fool to not understand why people look uh, look at it that way. People will always understand money. If there's lots of money in it, they understand it, no matter what it is. But it's unfortunate that's the way it is. And even even me knowing that's the way, it still hurts in a way. Like I feel so unimportant. I feel like, I feel like what I'm doing is a waste of time. Like I I I personally don't feel that way. But I'm saying the outside influences makes me feel like. And it reinforces the idea that what I'm doing is a waste of time. And I'm not going to lie. Like, majority of the time, like, I feel like this is, like, my future. Like, it's, I, it, it feels, like, very important to me. But there are times where I'm like, man, I don't want to do this. Or why am I even streaming right now? Like, no one's watching this. Or this this video sucks. Blah, blah, blah. And, like, and that's a small portion of my reality. Like, consistently, I'm always telling myself, it's in the long game. It's not going to happen tomorrow. It's not going to happen tonight. It's not going to happen next hour. It's not going to happen in a year. It's going to take time. Because things like this don't just happen overnight. No matter what. No matter what. It's being viral is not, is not a, it, a viral moment for the most part 
is not going to make your career. It's consistency. It's, 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 it's providing content to build a community. And I know that, and I'm pretty sure you know that. So it's like me rambling about this is kind of pointless in a way because like I acknowledge it takes time. But I'm talking about just the process of it and how and how damaging it is to someone who is a small streamer cuz the like the stats can really bring you down that's why on my on my uh, streaming apps OBS I cover I turned off uh, the viewer number turned it off even though I still know the amount of people in my chat cuz I I can just count for the most part even though I turned it off it still gets to me there are so many days so many days where I have like, like basically no viewers and I feel so discouraged to keep streaming. So discouraged. And I hate that because this is what I love. I feel like I am and a lot of other people are looking at it the wrong way. For some reason, like I said earlier, I know it takes time, but I keep thinking that I, I can get a hundred viewers easily. It'll happen. It'll happen someday. It'll happen. I guess... I guess what I'm trying to say is that being a small streamer, everything that is a negative influence on your mental in terms of how you traverse through your path to full-time streaming is enhanced, further enhanced because you're small and it's hard to justify wanting to keep trying. Like seeing so many other streamers thrive, you know, like, man, like... And even if you're right or wrong, you're like, I do more than them. Oh, my video is better than them. How are they thriving? Blah, blah, blah. Like I said, the feeling of being unimportant. You see everyone else just going up and up, and the v numbers are going up. The, the videos are getting better. They're getting more connections. And then you're sitting there like, man, is this even the right thing for me? Like, am I, am I doing the right thing? I try to tell myself this all the time. It's just, it's all about what you do. At the end of the day, a, a Twitch streamer, you are the CEO. You are the employee. You are the, like, you are everything. It's you. And being a small streamer, it's hard to understand that and realize that every single day. Now, the last one. What'd I say? What'd I say, actually? I said frustration. Okay. Now, this one, this one's kind of vague, too. It, I, I guess it goes into the other ones, too, but frustration. <sighs> What's frustrating to me is when I spend so much time on a video, I, I'm like, oh my God, this video is great. This is a funny video. Oh my God, this is going to do great. The, the, the title is good. The thumbnail is good. In my opinion, obviously, I don't know at the time, but this is great. Upload it. Nothing happens. Now, in the moment, I'm not being rational, but looking back at those moments and how I reacted, I know why it's happening. I don't have a community yet. I don't have a huge fan base so it's, it's gonna be harder for my videos to just blow up like that not any video can blow up potentially but like the videos I make aren't videos that will like make me a like, it won't propel me into like twitch stardom and this, this this is gonna sound cringy I'm not doing this to, to I'm not doing this for number for the numbers game or the most amount of money and all that like because I know for a fact someone like me if I'm doing something and I don't like it, it's going to be hard for me to want to do it for the rest of my life. Like, to want to do it. Like, have to is different. So I have to do something that's totally different. But want to, I have to love it. To want to keep going. To want to. Want to, guys. Not have to. I'll repeat it. But in this, in this sense, every process is extra frustrating. Because, like, if someone, if some random relative would ask you hey, what's your future like like, 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 what's your, like what job do you want to have and you say streamer now if someone asked you know Hasanabi that I'm a streamer right? I'm a streamer right now I'm like this amount of money oh, okay cool make that amount of money wow wow easy process but if someone asked me that hey what do, we, what do you want to do oh I want to be a streamer you make any money yet I did sometimes and then you get frustrated because like in your head, you know it takes time, but to them, they don't care. They, they don't know about Twitch, and, and even, even if they do, they probably don't want to be a streamer. Like They're just a viewer, so they don't know, but it, everything takes time. So it's frustrating because like you can't explain it to them, 
Cause like yeah, like here's the thing: no one's guaranteed to be a, a consistent full time streamer. But even even if that were the case, it, everything still takes time. Yeah, you have to build and build. I know that, and you know that. So to us, it's like it's so obvious. Like of course, like it takes time. Like why is, why do you think I'm gonna make a million dollars my first freaking stream or first YouTube video? But and then I know people are gonna say like, just get over it. Just get over it. It's okay. They don't understand. It's hard because these are close people. These are loved ones that like close by, and they and, and in their mind they're probably expecting so many things from you that if you don't reach their expectations, one they'll look at you differently or look at you in a certain way, and two, it might it might affect you and it might mess everything up. I wish I was able to just block everything out and just focus on my own thoughts and. Because obviously I'm I'm my best I am my best teammate, and you are your best teammate. No one else can be a better teammate than you, because you know yourself. You you know what you want. You know what your brand will look like for the most part. You know your you know your journey, your path path the best, and it it's frustrating because, like I said, I'm speaking these things as if I do it myself. I don't. Every every problem every syndrome i've sorry every symptom i listed is is because i understand the woes the ups and downs the 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 fine details but i still get affected by all of it and it's because for the most part i'm a small streamer now i'm obviously big streamers they they go through these things too but it's it's different i would say I'm not saying just because I'm a small streamer and I, and I get big, I'll be totally fine. I have no stress about Twitch anymore. That's that's not a lie. That's cap. <laughs> it's just all, all I'm saying is that it's further enhanced. It is further enhanced as a small streamer. And I think it will always be that way because in, in order for there to be the Tim the Tapmans, the SQCs, the Soda Poppins, the Mizkips, you need to have Twitch be set up like this unfortunately and youtube be set up like this and twitter and all that it, it has to be to the, the point where each person for the most part has to build their own path and all that because not everyone can can make it and i know that and you guys i'm pretty sure damn sure know that but yeah all i'm saying is that i i fail to practice what i preach Obviously, I have I have fun doing this still. I still have fun after almost two years now. Almost two years. I still have fun doing this. Us human beings, we, we don't focus on the good times when we need to. We, we always point out the negatives because the negatives affect us negatively. And we don't want to feel that way. So it's always on our minds because we, want to, we don't want to feel that way. So what can we do to not feel this way? That's what we do. Occasionally... I'll be like, oh my god, I remember this stream, I did this and this, that was so much fun. But that's like a glimpse, that's that's a little tidbit of what I think majority of the time. What I do think about is, man, that the Ashman had no viewers the whole time, that was depressing. And all I'm saying is that I and a lot of us have to change that. And a lot of people probably don't even confront this, even themselves. Even that was a stupid YouTube video. AB. People need to treat streams, their streams as like their life project. Cause streaming is, like I said, being a content creator, it's you. You are the brand, you are the business. So it's like, maybe I need to do that too. I need to treat streaming as if like, this is me. Like what I'm projecting out to the world via a YouTube video, via a stream, via a tweet, no matter what it is, is me. And I'm seeing it as something else than that right now. And I know I am. I have to change that. And I hope you guys change that too. Yeah, I hope this this video is very helpful. I hope it's insightful. Um This is all from this is all basically from my mind. Obviously I wrote down three things, but besides that, this was all something that I've been dealing with a long time. And recently I've ta I'm taking a break from streaming. For like a week just so i can like reset and let's just recoup and come back and just be better i know i won't be ludwig 
I know I won't be any of these streamers or content creators. I know this. I don't have to be them. And I need to realize I have to be satisfied with myself and what I'm providing. If this helped you guys out, I really would really be so grateful for you guys to like the video, to comment on what you think and what and what other problems do you think goes on in the content creation world. I can maybe talk about it. Uh, make sure to, su to subscribe too because um, videos like this might be um, a reoccurring thing. I don't know. Um, I can't fake this. I will not fake this. This is all from my brain. I hope you guys take care of yourselves, drink water, and peace out.